Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial we will be discussing about a on scroll event inside your javascript so basically inside your div section here so let's suppose you scroll inside this div I basically just drag down the scroll bar you will see automatically as I do this process automatically this event occurs and basically it is showing me this message that you scrolled inside this div section here so we will try to basically detect this inside javascript using this on scroll event handler you can attach directly using its attribute on scroll and also you can attach it using javascript using add event listener and i will be showing you how you can do that so let's suppose all the source code of this example will be there inside the description of this video i have written a complete blog post explaining each detail so kindly go to the blog post so we will be discussing about this on scroll event javascript example so let's suppose guys first of all we take a simple div section a div simply we take this div and now we need to style this div guys so basically just write some css for this we will simply target this div by the element itself and we just need to give it a border of one pixel solid black so if you now give this and open this now you will now see there will be a simple line here you will see a black line appearing here this is a border here and also guys we need to simply give it a fixed width of uh, 200 pixel and a height of also 100 pixel and uh, basically now it will be a rectangle basically this is a div section you can see that and here basically we will attach a property which is called as overflow which is scroll so here basically this attaching this property we can scroll inside this you will now see there will be a scroll bar here horizontal scroll bar and vertical scroll bar out there so now we need to write something inside this input uh, sorry div section guys so for doing this we will be having two break tags here just for attaching to create some space here and let me write something here which is let me also make this as content editable to true so we can write something here so we can write here like this so you can see that so let me just make it don't write it and let me just write the some garbage text here lorem let me take this example so you can see that we have written something here so you can see we have now got a scroll bar here so basically if i need to scroll down here guys basically this event should fire automatically telling me that you have scrolled it inside this div section so we can directly attach this attribute guys to this div element let's suppose you want to attach it using an attribute there is an attribute called as on scroll so here you can attach this attribute and then you can define a function which is called as scroll let me define this and right here we can inside your javascript section basically we can attach this function which is called as scroll and now we can just any define any instruction here let's suppose the alert statement you have started scrolling in div and now if i start to scroll down you will now see i think it should execute that code undefined is not a valid json uh, what is the let me see content js uh, let me see why it is creating that problem Uh, let me just remove this break tag here from here uh, let me take this example guys sorry I think I have made a mistake in writing some of the code here so you can see that guys this is our div section here and you can now see and we have attached this on scroll event handler you will see that this is a function let me change the function name to scroll i think it's a reserve keyword scroll so we need to change this keyword so let's suppose hello world let me declare a function here i think that was a problem let me change this code here 
this is a reserve keyword so we need to change it to let's suppose hello world and now if you see you can see you have started scrolling in div section you will see as I start to scroll so now we can say we can uh, change the uh, background color let's suppose of the body document dot style dot background color so as I start to change a uh, scroll inside this we can change the background color to red so what will happen now guys you can see you need to change it to red here sorry so you can see that as I started to scroll guys you will see automatically it changed the background color you will see so this is you can manipulate any CSS property here and uh, let's suppose you only want to change the div section background color document dot div we can simply sorry we can change the body color to red and also we can uh, give it an id of div here and we can change uh, let's suppose we get the reference to the div here after this we can change the background color of the div section to let's suppose black and also the text color which is uh, text color I think it's called as color I think to white so what will happen guys three properties will change the body color will change to red background color text color will change to white and the div background color will change to black so three things will happen simultaneously we'll see that this is the effect you can create guys you can see automatically when the user start to scroll you will see so this is the on scroll event handler guys so you can directly attach basically this event using its uh, attribute which is on scroll or you can do it using the javascript way so first of all we will get the reference to the to the div here and then we can attach this using add event listener and there is this event called as scroll and here we can simply have the event here console log e so what will happen guys basically you can just uh, uh, detach this and basically if you now open this inspect element go to console as you scroll down you will see this event will fire automatically whenever you scroll down so this event object contains the information about the element that you are scrolling down so this contains the event of this div here type is you can see event type is scroll here target is this div element you can see it contains all this information so it's a very useful information so you can do like this also and now if you want to uh, call a function let's suppose uh, you have written a function here so we can attach this uh, hello world function right here we have written this function here at the very top so this will also do the same thing you can see that and uh, let's suppose you want a shorter way you can do like this div dot on scroll and then simply attach this hello world that this is also valid so if you do this you can see that you can use also use a arrow syntax as well here so like this So these are the three ways guys you can attach the scroll event whenever you are scrolling inside a div section or any, any element you want. You can attach this using an attribute on scroll or you can attach it scroll event inside your JavaScript. So thank you very much for watching this video. All the source code will be there inside description of this video and I will be seeing you in the next video.